End-stage heart failure can result in patients being frequently in the hospital or having very significant limited quality of life. But with a ventricular assist device, patients are able to enjoy a much improved quality of life and personal freedom. In severe heart failure, the heart muscle is extremely weakened and it's not able to pump blood to the rest of the body to deliver oxygen that the rest of the body needs. What a ventricular assist device does is after it is surgically implanted, it basically takes over the pumping function of the heart so that the rest of the body can get the nutrients and oxygen that they need to function properly. We use ventricular assist devices in two different situations. One is for a bridge to transplant for patients who are on the wait list for a heart transplant who may be there for months or even years before a donor heart becomes available. There are some patients who are not candidates for a heart transplantation for a variety of reasons, and we use the devices in that scenario as what we call their destination therapy, which means that they will be supported by the device for the remainder of their lives. Ventricular assist devices as we know them today have really revolutionized the care of patients with advanced heart failure. Not only are we able to bridge patients to heart transplant with these devices, but we also have another option to manage patients with advanced heart failure that we didn't have before for these patients that are going to be on support for the rest of their lives. So BADS not only give patients more time, but they give them more quality of life with their family and to enjoy doing the things that they love.